Hi everyone and welcome to take a look at Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. Uh, I will show you but I need to warn you, you will get hungry. So be ready. Here's what it looks like right now um, if you're looking when you look for it. And um, Joy Tucker is our administrator and she will get you in when you send your request to join. So this is what you'll be looking for right now. I got that peach pie there. We've got 597 members, three more to get to 600. So let's get that get that done too. I'd like to, like to reach a 1K uh, and it'll happen eventually, but uh, we've been growing. So let's get started looking at a few things. You'll see recipes People, the things that people had for dinner, breakfast, lunch, anything like that. And here's one for from uh, Lynn Lynn, and she shared this uh, recipe for Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Those look great. Look great. And I might need my glasses on to see some of this. Here's one from Rosa Rodriguez, and it says, Hamburger Helper on menu tonight. Rest well, everyone. I love Hamburger Helper. A nice, quick meal, it's, and it's good. I always kind of jazz mine up a little. Here's my dinner uh, that I made last night, uh, and it is the, uh, there should be the recipe in here. Uh, I'll show it to you so I can when I find it. This is my uh, sausage, smoked sausage and pasta that I make in the crock pot. And that's some of that butter bread. That was delicious and it smelled so good cooking too. Um, here's another recipe from Lynn Lynn. This is ecstasy cake. Boy, I haven't seen this one yet. It looks great. Look at that. Yum. And here is the recipe for Joy's that she made the, the lemon blueberry bunt cake that I showed in my uh, thumbnail. Whoops, what did I do? You can find that in there. And here's one from Rosa. She usually does a post in the morning and has some nice things on it. Shows what she has for breakfast. Here's one from Kim Collender. How my day began. Coffee was a part also. Ooh, I like that. I like bananas and peanut butter. That looks like peanut butter. Looks good. Here's one from Kimberly S. Coons Westervelt. Uh, good afternoon, Mike. And everyone today's lunch is a tuna melt and extra tuna and sun chips. Mm, that sounds good. And here is the bunt cake that Joy made. And that is the best bunt, bunt cake I've ever had. It really is. Let me get on me. Oh, it's just a string. Look at this. Mmm. I might have to have some more of that this evening. And here's my smoked sausage recipe. I added some green pepper because we had some that needed to be used. And actually, I think I'll just probably, if I've got it, I'm going to start adding green pepper to it because it was really, really good. If you want to take a snapshot of that. And, and this is when we had the uh, Captain D's and we had enough for two meals. So this is the second day. That's, that's some good fish, let me tell you. Really flavorful. And here's one from Andrea. Louise, baked Parmesan, crusted flour, spinach, Mediterranean couscous, and plantains. Ooh, 
That looks great. And here's another one from Rosa. And here's Diane Clark. I made some cabbage soup on this cold Ohio day. I will freeze some, one of my fave soups. It looks great, Diane. What you made. Here's one from Kim Collender. Homemade chicken pot pie. It's what's for dinner. That looks good. And here's one from Kimmy's Kitchen. Yum below, yum, yummy buffalo chicken dip. Yum below. <laughs> Got tongue tied. Ooh, that looks really good. Good dip. And here's one from uh, Tracy Kramer. Today's dinner, it says. That looks good. And here's one from Angela Early. Got to go, got to enjoy some Applebee's finally. Hope you all are doing well. Ooh. Oh, gosh. This rain makes me sleepy and dreary outside. Here's another one from Kimberly Westervelt. Beef stroganoff is what's for dinner. And that's some kind of protein shake there. That looks good. Here's one from Michael Creech. It doesn't say what it is. It looks like, to me, uh, biscuits and gravy with some bacon. Here's Kim Collender's breakfast. Fruit is good for breakfast. And this one's from Kimberly Westervelt. She made banana pancakes for breakfast. That sounds really good. I've never had banana pancakes, though. This is from Kim Collender, Monday night dinner. Pork chop. And here says dinner, Tracy L. Kramer. Looks like burgers and tater tots. Sounds good to me. Here's when we had pizza the other day. I, it was a Red Baron. I think it was fire or brick oven, I think, crust or something like that. I added a little bit of uh, cheese to it. Here's uh, Sissy Rains Robinson got some gift cards for my brother and sister-in-law and my best friend to Red Lobster. Mmm. That all looks great. Nice looking seafood. And here's one from Andrea Louise. Homemade keto friendly Alfredo sauce in a spaghetti squash boat. Sauteed shrimp and a croissant roll. That sounds great. Look at that. Ooh, this looks good. This is from Kim Collender. Made some fluffer butter fudge last night. Oh gosh. That looks great. <laughs> Here's one from Misty Davis. This is in a garden recipe. Skillet roasted chicken and yellow potatoes. Oh gosh, that looks great. And here's Snickerdoodle Cobbler. Says it got a little burnt, but tasted good. Oh yeah, I'm sure it did. Doesn't hurt it, you know, get a little burnt. Here's one from Patty from Life with Patty. Dinner tonight, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and corn. Love some meatloaf. 
And I showed this as my thumbnail of the day on Morning Coffee Break. It's a Joe Patchlick Simple Super Bowl Supper. Baked pork, country ribs, potato salad, and baked beans. Great meal. Mm -hmm. Here's a recipe for coconut cake with seven minute frosting. Ooh. And this one's from Michael Creech, homemade chicken nachos. I'm getting hungry. And here's one from Diane Clark. It is Spanish pastelillos. I've never heard of them before. They sound great, the way she was describing. Here's one from Sharon Hagen. Uh, salmon. Uh, teriyaki salmon, I believe. And this is from Tracy Kramer. Philly O's ham eggs. Philly O's are stuffed with cream cheese and oranges cooked in eggs. Wow. Never had that before. Looks great. Anything stuffed with cream cheese. Would be. Here's one from Sissy Rains Robinson. It says, uh, I woke up to my wonderful hubby making me this for breakfast. I sure am lucky to have him. I'd say that looks like a great breakfast there. Here's one from Angela Early. Hubby made spaghetti and vanilla cake. Well, he got some hubbies cooking. All right. Looks good. I like to see the husbands cooking. And this is our daughter, Jackie Magana. And it says, making shrimp tonight. She used to love my shrimp scampi that I would make. She said that she learned from me. And here's Tracy Kramer tonight's dinner, pineapple cinnamon glazed ham. Oh, gosh. And I was trying to find something else I saw in here. Breakfast time as, it, as I watch the snow falling. And here is the first time, the, when we first got the Captain D's. And this is pizza uh, from Kimberly Westervelt. Here's one from Danielle Rogers. Hubby made uh, cacao e peppy for lunch. Another husband in there. Here's when we had dominoes. Let's see, we'll find one more and we'll go. Here's pork chop, baked beans, and butter lettuce salad from Kim Collender. Now let's see. Here's Vonnie Taylor Jeffers, chicken sauces, couscous, couscous and kale soup for supper tonight. That looks great. Hmm. Here's Michael Creech. I like just a little cheese on my spaghetti. Oh, yeah, I'd say, Michael. But it was good, though. Here's scrambled eggs, toast, and sausage. So you just can, can keep going on and on in here and you'll find all these great dishes that people have made. So now I'm going to go over, hi kitty. She was laying with me on the couch and I got up to come in here. So now she's in here. Now let's show you a little bit about uh, Color Me Happy Club. Um, we've got 197 members. I'd like to hit that 200 mark. That's what you'll look for. That's I colored that picture for my mother. Gave it to her. You'll see all kinds of different things. Here's some coloring by Carol Magnuson. Coloring app. And 
Here's a, a Valentine's one. Here's one from Jackie Daniels. Great job on that. Um, here's Kimberly did a puzzle of the, a Christmas story. She shared it with us and she got it done. Um, here's one from my wife, Joy. Beautiful. Here's another one from Joy. Another one. I like that. That's beautiful. Let's see what this other one. And there's another one by Jackie Daniels. It's beautiful. Here's where I made a card and I took some pictures of it. I didn't show the whole thing because it was going to someone and I thought they might see it. Showed everything but that one part. Here's another one from Carol Magnuson. That's nice too. See. Here's another Valentine's one from Carol Magnuson. And here's another card I made. Kitty jumped up there on the counter. Here's one uh, that Kimberly colored, Kimberly Westervelt. Now I'll, I'll uh, see if what's going on in the Gardening with Friends. We got 125 members. I started this, you know, kind of late last year in the growing season. We're looking forward to things cranking up on this more. Uh, not a lot of people have been, you know, growing much over the winter. But here's some of the items I've been growing inside. Hmm. Here's another shot of them. And here's some flowers that have bloomed over at Joe's. Hmm. Here's a video I did of how to make a hydroponic planter out of a mug. Here's some lettuce that, uh, that Joe Patchelik has been growing. Here's a harvest of some turnips that I picked out there in my garden, in my winter garden outside. And there's them cooking right here. Here's a shot of the cat grass that I've been growing for Kitty and some microgreens and a shot of outdoors. There, that one's outdoors. What did I do? Pressed on it. That's my hydroponic, uh, my aero garden and some microgreens and things. That's some dill and basil in there. Uh oh, what did I do? Here's daikon radish microgreens. We just had some sunflower uh, sprouts the other day. And they're really good. Um, that's a different one of that. And I think this is a video Joe did of some tomatoes he grew in, indoors. <laughs> Here's a couple carrots I got from the garden. They were still out there. But you get the idea. I mean, there's, like I said, there's not as much going on right now in the uh, 
gardening with friends, but it's it's a good it's a good uh, club to be in, you know, group. And this summer, it, it'll be a good place to get advice and things like that on uh, if you try to grow some veggies, which I you know encourage everybody to do that, and uh, you know. Uh, give it a try i mean you can get you can get seeds at uh, dollar tree they go pretty quick though and the seeds are really good I, i've just had a few uh different types that didn't do as well as i hoped but uh, you don't have to put a big investment you can get pots there if you want to do container gardening you can get soil there potting soil you can get seed starting soil um all kinds of things i've got quite a few things this year uh, new things uh, for gardening so everybody, I hope you enjoy. Take a look at Chef Mike's Homemade Cooking Club. Also, Color Me Happy Club and Gardening with Friends. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this. So please press that like button, please. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out and share with everyone you know, please. Y'all send us a friend, send us a request to join these groups and, uh, like I said, Joy Tucker will get you in there. She uh, graciously takes care of all these groups for, for me, and I appreciate that so much. Um, I do so much with my videos and stuff. I just, you know, I look at everything, you know, I, I comment and, and like and all that, but I just don't have time to do different things with it. I, I've got too many irons in the fire. But uh, she takes care of it really good, and she'll get you in there. So everybody, please join that watches this. And uh, I'll be seeing you later on. we got to go take Logan to his therapy. Then after that, when we get home, I'll be doing... Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to do uh, chatting with my tablet, which is a new, a new segment I'm uh, doing. I've only done one so far. So this will be the second one. So check it out later on. I think you'll really like it. It's funny too and interesting. So I'm going to be doing that sometimes in between when we, when we don't have enough questions for Ask My Tablet. So everybody have a great day and I'll be seeing you later on. God bless.